Exactly. Back here where it's hot and yeah. humid and stormy. Hot summer. Oh yeah. my god. I wonder if you can see all the people sweating in Central Park yeah. today. Hot up there too, right? Yeah, absolutely. It is warm in most parts of the US, especially mm -hmm. east of the Mississippi. We have heat and humidity, but we also have gorgeous sunsets like this one over Blues Lake out there. Nice night. Yeah, a little bit muggy, right? No, a whole lot muggy. And <laughs> that's what we've got for you. And that's what you're going to wake up to tomorrow morning. Did you notice the moon out there tonight? It's not technically full, but I'll give it close enough. It is full at 829 tomorrow morning, and you'll be able to see it rising uh, tomorrow evening as well and setting there Friday morning. The high out there this afternoon is up to 89 degrees, so we didn't quite make it to 90, but boy, it felt like it was in the mid to upper 90s when you added in all that humid air. We had heat index values in the triple digits in places like Martinsville and Burlington earlier today. Current temperatures are in the upper 70s and low 80s from Burlington to Winston-Salem, and yes, those dew points are way up there. This is beach air, only without the waves, without the sand, without, yeah, some of the other things. We've got miserable, we'll call it, comfort cast for you. It's going to stay really muggy. Now, there is a front that's going to slowly work its way to the east. It could get a touch less humid if you're on the northwestern side of this in the coming days. So we're going to kind of follow this and just see how far it drifts to the east. And everybody blow all at once and maybe we can push it all the way to the coastline. That's where most of the stormy weather was today. Yesterday, of course, we had a whole lot of storms here, relatively storm free today and no storm reports across the Carolinas. Storm threat for tomorrow is along the coast. And then for Friday, even less storm activity expected. Tomorrow morning, a few patchy clouds. Temperatures are warm and it is humid. They'll be in the low 70s. It'll be a little bit cooler in the mountains in the mid 60s. And then we're going to keep it steamy throughout the day. 84 at noon, 88 tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to give it just a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm late in the day. Foothills, you're up to about 86 by late tomorrow afternoon. Also pop up storms possible, but not everybody. In fact, most not everyone. Most of you will not. Let's see if I can get my grammar right. Have any storms tomorrow? 83 tomorrow afternoon in the mountains. And you can notice that there are a couple of areas of low pressure on this front, so that does kind of slow it down. That's why we do expect it to spend some time between us and the coast over the next several days, and that includes the weekend. So the closer we are to that boundary, better chance for storms. I think we'll see a few tomorrow, although most of them will be along the coast. Into Friday morning, it's a quiet start. And then by Friday afternoon, I think we're able to nudge it just a little bit farther east. It's possible we could be a little bit less humid on Friday. That would be nice. The High Point Rockers are playing baseball Friday night at 6.30. An isolated storm, but a little bit milder with temperatures that are in the low 80s. Also Friday in Charlotte, Panthers preseason game. If you're out for the tailgate, it is going to be steamy. We'll look for heat index values around 94. And then game temperatures are going to be close to 80 degrees. But we do have dry skies in the forecast, it looks like, for Friday. Even dry on Saturday and Sunday, our rain chances are less than 20% over the weekend. One of the